We're here in the Isle of Wight in the UK at the Hover Travel Hovercraft Terminal. The hovercraft is ideally suited to this area because it's very tidal and it's capable of operating over sea and land and ice and other surfaces. It operates using lift fans that generate a cushion of air beneath the craft and the craft sits on top of that trapped air. The application of a hover system to an airship is slightly different but the principle remains the same. When we attach a hover system to an airship we refer to it as an air cushion landing system or ACLS. The large landing system distributes the landing load over a wide area and this enables us to build it in a much lighter fashion than the style of hovercraft you see here. One of the areas where we can save a large amount of weight is in the skirt system fingers. The skirt system surrounds the air cushion landing pad and retains the air. The fingers are the parts of the skirt which contact the surface over which the vehicle operates. Now on a hovercraft such as this, the skirt system is very robust because it spends all its working life operating over water, land, sand, etc. Unlike this hovercraft, the airship will operate most of its life in the air and will only operate on its air cushion landing system when on the ground. So we can afford to make the skirt system much lighter and more flexible. And in this way, we can save significant amounts of weight compared with this technology of hovercraft. At the centre of the air cushion landing system is a fan similar to this which provides the cushion of air. The fan has variable pitch blades which can provide pressure and suction. Using the suction the airship can grip the ground. This innovation allows the airship to park without any other mooring arrangement. For takeoff, we taxi on a cushion of air once in flight, we cover the ACLS to give us a smooth profile. In order to prove the technology for a hybrid airship, we teamed up with the experts in the UK to test the design on a subscale test rig, the only one of its kind in the world. With this facility, we were able to adjust both weight and mass independently and test different landing speeds for a vehicle like this. Once the technology was proven, we applied it and tested it on P-791, our subscale flight demonstrator, which successfully finished flight trials in 2006. This breakthrough technology makes heavy cargo operations possible, allowing the hybrid airship virtually unlimited access worldwide. <laughs>